सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट की वर्ड बेसिक्स वी आर गोइंग टू कवर वट इज की वर्ड वट इज की वर्ड रिसर्च वाई आर की वर्ड इम्पॉर्टेंस एंड वट आर इट्स टाइप हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम शिवानी गोयल वेलकम इन डब्ल्यू एस क्यूब टैक तो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द की वर्ड बेसिक इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू कवर सम बेसिक फैक्टर्स अबाउट की वर्ड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू कवर वॉट इज की वर्ड्स वट आर इट्स टाइप वाई की वर्ड्स वट इज की वर्ड रिसर्च वाई इज की वर्ड रिसर्च इम्पॉर्टेंट सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद अ ब्रीफ डेफिनेशन अबाउट की वर्ड की वर्ड्स आर द आइडियाज एंड द टॉपिक दैट डिफाइन वट योर कंटेंट इज अबाउट द की वर्ड्स ऑन योर पेज टू बी रिलीवेंट टू वट पीपल आर सर्चिंग फॉर सो they have a better chance of finding your content along the result so basically what the keyword is for finding any information we use search engine okay search engine like google google is a search engine here in google in their search bar we can write a particular word to find our information and that particular word or a phrase is known as keyword here keyword are the search term that a website owner or seo professional will use to optimize a website in the hope of ranking at the top of google's result for specific keywords let's suppose if you figure out any particular keyword here okay so this particular keyword which the user search our seo professional use that particular keyword in their website just to rank their website so this is the main importance of keyword here okay now let's talk about some of its type if i'm talking about keyword so for different type of website we are using different keywords here let's suppose we have some types available here let's start with the one that is your targeting keyword next we have the keyword by length on the basis of the length we determine keyword here then we have some on site keyword on site keyword or you can say your organic keyword which can give us organic result next we have google ads keywords keywords which we can use in our google ads next we have buyers keyword okay so let me explore some more about these keyword first of all we have a targeting keyword targeting stands for that which, which particular segments you are targeting if i'm talking about your marketing segment like here you can target complete market next is your customer defining keyword in which you can define your customer requirement next we have a product keyword let's suppose nike running shoes this is your product here so if you are using your product here especially for e-commerce website we are using this type of keywords next we have branded keywords in which you include the name of your brand let's suppose your nike running shoes where you can mention the name nike here which is a brand here reebok running shoes which is a reebok that is your brand name next we have competitors keyword whatever be the keyword your competitors are using you can target that particular keyword here next we have geo targeted geo targeted just like you can mention your keyword like nike running shoes for women in delhi in delhi is a geo centric in delhi is a geographical here okay so that is known as targeting keyword in which you can target some particular product or brand or competitor or your geographical location next we have keyword by length we can also judge keywords on the basis of their length if you have only one or two word keyword that keyword is known as a generic keyword or that keyword is your short tail keywords okay for example here you can see wordpress themes this is a generic keyword this is very basic keyword for behind this particular keyword you can say that your user user intention may be just to gather information so in that particular keyword you have many data to showcase your client okay so this is very generic keyword and that's why on that particular keyword you have a very high search volume okay next we have a mid tail keyword which is longer than your short tail keywords and shorter than your long tail keywords and what is this mid tail keyword is in that case where you can use any suffix or prefix after your generic keyword 
let us suppose here you can take example that is wordpress themes for blog okay so wordpress theme is your generic keyword if you are adding for blog here this is your mid tail keyword here okay so in case of mid tail keyword we also have a volume which is less than your generic keyword but more than your long tail keyword next we have a long tail keyword which is very specific keywords because in case of long tail keyword your client your customers basically define their requirement just like you can see here free responsive wordpress themes for blog here customer define complete query about complete information about their query so they these are having search volume which is very less but having high conversion rate because as we can say that what is the best deal on nike running shoes it means that the customer is ready to purchase that particular item but they are exploring some more about that so this type of keyword we have to use in our website these are very specific but having high conversion rate and these type of keywords also having low competition just because of long keyword next we have on site keyword in case of on site keyword here you can also say organic keyword if you want to rank your website organically on google search engine result page then you have to figure out these type of keywords here here we have two type of keyword which we are using in our website first one we have a primary keyword primary keyword or you can say your main keyword main term that you target on your web page okay so this is your primary keyword here which you include in your title in your meta description in your images so this is the main keyword here you have to figure out after your main keyword you also have to figure out your related keywords related to your primary keyword okay for example if your primary keyword is women's running shoes okay then your related keywords could be women running shoes reviews women running shoes sales and the best women's running shoes these all are your related keywords so when you start writing article on the basis of these keywords then in that case you can mention your primary keyword in your title in your meta description in your image alt in your internal linking and you can mention your lsi keywords or you can say your related or latent semantic keywords in the body okay in the description part so these are your on site keywords here after on site we have a google ads keywords which we can use when we create google ads for doing paid advertisement or for creating paid result we are using these type of keyword here here we have four type of keywords first is your broad match keywords next is your phrase match then your exact match and last one is your negative keywords in case of broad match keywords what we have example shoes shoes for sale broad match means that in any phrase if you found this particular keyword then your advertisement is visible in front of these users okay in case of phrase match it means that if your targeted audience can type this particular keyword like your primary keyword whatever be the keyword you are choosing and any suffix and the prefix after your keyword like your women shoes sales women shoes stores stores for women shoes for this type of keyword this is known as your phrase match keyword it means if your audience is adding any suffix and prefix after their main keyword in that case your ad is showcased there next we have exact match here you can target your keyword in this way that if your audience can type the exact keyword only then your ad is visible there just example if your exact word is women and shoes here you can say like plus women plus shoes by this way you can write your keyword it means that in your particular keyword you have two words one is your women next one is shoes so that is your women shoes shoes women and shoes for women so for these result only your ad will display here next we have negative keywords negative keywords means the keywords which you don't want that your ads will showcase example men's shoes 
okay here you just negatively set these keyword for example if someone searches for these result then your ad will not display there for men's shoes shoes for guys men's shoes see for these keyword your ad will not display on these keywords next we have buyers keyword in case of buyers here we can detect our buyers intention behind the keyword for example first is informational keyword if your targeted audience want to get some information about that particular keyword example what's the best running shoes here we can see that our search intent is informational here our user just want to know some information about their query like what's the best running shoes next we have navigational keyword in case of navigational they just want to explore more option in their purchasing journey in that case here you can see example here that is nike running shoes it means our buyer want to purchase particular item but they are confusing and they are exploring more information next we have transactional keywords in which your user intent is transactional they just want to purchase particular item they are searching they are deciding that they have to purchase running shoes from nike but now your user is exploring more options there that is best deal on nike running shoes okay so this type of keyword which can provide us the search intent of the user this these type of keyword known as buyers keyword okay so these are some type of keywords here now after uh, doing discussion about types of keyword now we have why are keywords important okay or you can say what's the importance of keyword here so keyword are important because they can be targeted with the marketing okay when your website is listed at the top of the result for a search that keyword act as a free source of website traffic for you and if you have an advertising budget and you can place pay per click ads on specific keyword that is how google ads operate advertisers bid for the space at the top of a result page for the specific keyword okay for example the keyword loan has four advertisements at the top of the result while the example above what plants grow in the desert has no ads okay so this is the importance of keywords here next we have why we choose keyword what happen if we are not choosing keyword for an online business keywords are your strategy okay they are the battle you choose to fight in the hope of outdoing your competitors and directing the people using search engine in your market to your site instead of theirs when you look at the keyword that a site has ranking for you can see the website's strength and the area where they excel over their competitor when we look at all the keywords position we are able to understand what's their website is okay and what product they are marketing online next we have qualities of keyword if i'm searching any particular keyword so these are the things which we have to target in my mind just to improve the quality of keywords here okay first of all we have a search volume if you are searching for any keyword then you must make sure that this particular keyword must have some search volume here okay next we have competition for competition you don't have to choose that particular keyword which have large competition and you also don't have to choose that keyword which have low competition but having zero search volume so in that case you have to choose that competition which have some search volume as well and also having low and medium competition okay next we have price that is cost per click you have to decide your ads budget and on the basis of budget you have to decide that keyword which satisfy your search volume and competition condition as well as your budget also okay next we have intent when you are exploring your keyword in that case you also have to target in your mind about the intent of the users like what's their intent they want to gather some information they have informational content they want to 
doing transactional they have some transactional content or they have commercial content so you have to figure out the content of the user behind any particular keyword here okay so next we have competitiveness of a keyword in case of competitiveness how can we detect our competition just to detect your competition means that now you are searching that what are the efforts you have to put on just to rank your website according to that particular keyword so now we have two factors here on the basis of which we can decide that this particular keyword we have to choose or not first one we have is our keyword difficulty okay by using keyword research tool here we can detect keyword research or keyword difficulty of any particular keyword so this matrix is tell you how competitive it is to rank organically at the top of the result page if your keyword difficulty is high in that case it is more difficult to rank your website if your keyword difficulty is low let's suppose it is 30% it is 50% in that case you can choose that particular keyword in that case it is more easy as comparison to high difficulty keywords to rank your web website organically so this is based on how strong and reputable the website are that are already on the first page okay next we have competitive density so this matrix is tell you how competitive it is to rank in advertisement at the top of the result competitive density is used for your paid searches for your advertisement part keyword difficulty is for your organic keyword okay for your on site keyword this is for your ads keyword okay so this is based on how expensive the bid are and how strong the current advertisers are okay so on the basis of that we can decide competitiveness of a keyword here so next we have is the keyword research what is keyword research keyword research is a process by which you research popular search term people type into search engine your search engine like google okay and include them strategically in your content so that your content appears higher on the search engine result page so this particular activity is known as keyword research here now why it is important why we are doing keyword research here so the answer is it allows you to see the volume and the competition data for the keywords you are thinking you want to use and also spot any changes you need to make your chosen keyword going forward because as we all know that keyword is the backbone here so just like research is also the backbone of your keyword clustering so that's why we can see that our keyword research is important here so this is just the basic about keyword research in our upcoming module i have a lot to tell about keyword research here so thank you so much for watching this video